I actually just got in. It's 10.46 p.m. Jamaica time. But I wanted to clarify something that I'm seeing going around as a headline on social media in terms of my spending of the Constituency Development Fund. And I promised you all one thing, that I will come and tell the truth and be accountable to everybody. When that arises, here is no different. So all of you would know that every member of parliament does not get in their hand $20 million from the CDF. As a matter of fact, how it is allocated from the budget is that every member of parliament is told that they have $20 million towards their constituency. The size of my constituency, that doesn't go very far. So I have to, every year, as a part of the CDF requirements, we have to have a public consultation to determine how those monies are spent. So we had our public consultation and we've allocated according to the constituency with the constituents how those projects should be done and there are several projects five million to education money to agriculture etc there is an allotment for welfare now the position is that if it is development we should have development so i think the headline said that i come second to last for not spending close to $9 million. Well, perhaps those who are writing the headlines should understand that the financial year actually ends next year, March 31st, 2023. Therefore, all members of parliament with that $20 million allotment, if they are strategic, manage those funds and write those projects and submit them when necessary, before the end of the financial year. So, if it is that the government, for example, which we know every Christmas gives every constituency sometimes close to $20 million for road work, garbage collection, a host of things like what we're going through this year. What we decided to do is reserve for January for that dry season, to be able, when the money is finished for Christmas, to have a little bit to a little cushion to lean on between January to March 31st. So yes, um, I do have for the constituency a reserve of nine million in the constituency development fund, because practically you know one done all your funds before the end of the financial year. So I wanted to point that out very carefully. Um, there are a number of road programs that we're doing and you will see some of those and I will come forward and speak about that. But I think it's disingenuous, especially for media houses to go with headlines, to source information, knowing the context of some of the things without giving the full information about it. So yeah, I just wanted to, just wanted to put that out there because the financial year actually ends March 31st and the CDF committee will have to meet again to look at projects and to approve them. So Southeast St. Anne still has between January to next March, when the financial year ends, a reserve cushion because we did get quite a bit of funds from government for this Christmas, November, December. So we took the decision to reserve some funds so that we would not be out of pocket for the constituency between the first quarter of next year. Hope that takes care of some of the things. Good to see everybody. Take care. Bye.